Rain's coming. Anytime, sweetheart. Oh, sweetheart, right? Okay. Board up. Drink her up. Choke her up, she's cold. There's condensation on the front. <laughs> out of here. Bible gun front. First, you guys have just an amazing catalog of work. First, in the watch, I love that, but just separately, I've, you know, I've watched you since Crash and watched you since Street Kings and whatever else you've done. Training you know, day. Training day, you know, right? Furious, yeah. Yeah. Mars times. People just don't even know, like, all the stuff that, that you've done. But my first question is, uh, obviously, there's a lot of research that went into yeah. this film. And for you as a director and a writer and for you as an actor, how fun is that part, doing but the research? This guy, we, I, 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 they call him now, but he's like, you know, Wikipedia. <laughs> Like I'm serious, like Wiki, like Wiki Dave, we used to call him. It's literally like some random. He's like, "What do you think about frogs? What kind of frogs? Like African frogs, bullfrogs? Like you know, <laughs> like he'll like, like, no, you gotta be specific, dude. Like South South American, like which ones? Poisonous ones? The blood blood frogs? I'm like, that doesn't even exist. And you're like, oh yeah. Well, what about them? He's like, well, they're pointers. And, you know, they're indigenous to this region. I'm like, whatever, dude. He literally like, he sucks in so much information which is great for us as actors because we we want to you know we, we want to show like three-dimensional characters yeah. that pe like hopefully the audiences really care for I mean, we worked on that an awful lot in end of watch and, and this one as well like to for, so for people to care about the, these brothers that go into battle so that the battle sequences you know actually mean something they right. you know they're like they don't want to see these guys go and um, it, you know, because at the same time you want to entertain, but you also want to show like a very good quality movie. I mean, the toughest thing to do as a director is is to take a group of guys and give them a history, and then have that history come through on the screen. And so I expose them, you know, to as many things as I can. They did boot, a boot camp that was run by Navy SEALs. You yes. know, and they got they got their butts kicked for a week. Everybody you broke, know. dude. To be honest, yeah. everybody broke. Wow. It wasn't like your Hollywood like yeah, boot camp. Like Hollywood. it was like, you know, and it's weird because I'm like, you're an actor, and like, you actually were like, I don't care, dude. I'll do whatever, you know. And yeah. it happened to each and every one of us. It's really amazing. But it, it's that 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 brotherhood from those processes, learning how to operate the tanks, you know, learning the equipment, you know, understanding the history themselves of what these guys went through. They met with veterans. They talked to these guys, you know, and they got a window into their souls and. It's that's that's what we're seeing on the screen. It's a lot of work to do that. How much was your, your experience working in a nuclear sub? How how did that play out into shooting in these tight confinements of the tanks? I imagine there's some similarity being. It's know. it's cramped and it smells and people get mean. Uh, but <laughs> it, it's it's that thing of of having been in the military. A lot of times in these movies. Um, it's just about the, the uniforms and the equipment and the action, and then you'll have just kind of almost sketches and characters, you know, caricatures of, of people. Right. And, and from having served in the military, what I remember is the people. I remember the dudes I served with. I remember mm. these, these crazy personalities. And, and that's what I wanted to bring to this, was create crazy personalities, create a family, create these guys who are like brothers. Right. And, and no one can get under your skin like family, you know? Yeah. And, and no one can share your pain like family, and that's what we see in this movie. Yeah, but also it's like what's cool about it, with how you write towards is like you also what you're able to get away with as family. Yeah. Like you know what what a one person can say to another. Like if you were a stranger, that would never fly. But because it's such, you know, we actually like overstep our boundaries a lot yeah. in this movie, which I think makes it really interesting. Yeah. Oh, that was a rehearsal, man. Boundaries were destroyed. Dude, it was, so you hear that? It's a goddamn SS battalion. Both. Jesus Christ. You ready to get my gun? Yeah. You want to get the weapon? Yeah, it's just getting all right. Look, it's about to be dark. Just Stop. get on up out of here, huh? Let them pass on through. Let's hit them woods. Through Norman, go get your pack. 
Let's go. We ain't never run before, I ain't running now. What's that? We're gonna fight it out. We can't. I'm gonna hold this crossroad. What you mean you're gonna hold this? The tank's busted. The tank's fing busted, Top. Yeah, you said that. Top, what are you doing? What do you want to do? You want to sit here? I'm gonna hold this crossroad. You want to sit here, hold off the SS battalion? No, it's not what I want to do, but it's what we're doing. There's five of us. Get your fighting position. Mount up. Fighting positions when we ain't got to tell you how we're gonna fight. We got a cannon. No, that don't make sense. Stop! What are you doing? Sergeant War Daddy's character. I mean, we've seen sergeants in, in, in movies before, but it's kind of peculiar. Can you talk a little bit about what makes his character just different from what we've seen on screen before? Well, it's it's you know the typical lifetime of a, of, a, of a Sherman tank crew in combat in World War II is about six weeks. I mean, there's incredible losses. Wow. Um, you know, one division had tank losses at 580 percent. You wow. know, so for every tank they sent in combat, it would be replaced over five times. A lot of losses, and this is about a crew that's been fighting together since the beginning of the war. So they have three years together. So it takes a special kind of guy to keep a crew alive in those circumstances. And it's really about, you know, this guy loves these guys, wants to keep them alive, yet has to send them into combat on these missions. And and it's that tension where, man, I love you, I want to keep you alive, but you know what, we have to go into danger together now. And so you really see that that battle within within Brad's character. And then you have Logan Lerman coming along. It's, it's like the w worst first day of high school ever, yeah, you know, because yeah. these guys are vets, he's showing up. Their homie just died in the beginning and he has to step into some big shoes. And fortunately, Brad takes him under his wing, you know, and it's that thing of, you know, he's got to destroy the innocence if the kid's going to survive. No, if we're going to survive too, he's, yeah. he's an assistant driver and like, it, that's the one of the casualties of war is innocence. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, great movie, a lot of issues. It's not just a war movie. I really enjoyed it. Always enjoy your work. Thanks right for on. Time. Cool, man. Right. You're watching Black Tree on TV, only on Soul of the South.